Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead State. We are um, in a random encounter, we had some uh, crazy people. Wait a second, oh yeah, some coyotes over here in this abandoned part of the town. Well actually, most of the places are abandoned, aren't they? And uh, yeah, we, we did it quite well. We killed all those um, people, all those coyotes, and it wasn't too bad at all. They can really do too much to us. I can't actually remember if we took any damage at all. They did do a little, um... Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, because they had guns. They did do a little bit of noise, so the zombie came over to investigate, but that doesn't matter. Because the zombie is now dead, and we can loot the coyotes. I believe we're coming back from a really good, uh... Run. Never mind, we just went out! To do a run. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Look at all that. Very nice. Yeah, um... Okay, that's fair enough. Looter corpse. Wait a second, what? There's Oh, the looter corpse was the zombie, okay. So this is pretty good. Right, okay, I actually thought we were already coming back from a uh, scavenging run, but we're actually on a scavenging run. Oh yeah, of course, because we have Amy over here. And unfortunately, Metal Canyon is quite hurt already. Shut up! Yeah, it's, it's in the morning. Oh yeah, we were going east, of course, because we wanted to explore this area over here. <clears throat> There's a human campsite that we're not going to. I wish we could just talk to those people. And I wonder what happens if they attack you first, because we did indeed attack first last time. So I do wonder what happens if you... Ooh, cabin in the woods. That's interesting. <gasps> Don't tell me we're gonna find a survivor that has lots of survival skill there. That would be perfect, so we can make that um, rooftop garden. That would be awesome. Well, let's hope for that. Fingers crossed. And toes crossed and hair made into a braid? I don't know. Right. That's a ca Oh, that's a cabin in the woods? It's more like a little shop. Yeah, grocery mart. Get your... What? Get your ear... On. Okay. Fresh baked bread, tasty meat and cheeses. Next exit. What do you mean next exit? That's right there. Right, so this, um, we're gonna have to be careful to see what's scattered packages. Well, some dog food and a potato. So what's in here? Hmm. It's all empty at the moment, but, uh, yeah. We don't know whether... Wait, is there another shack here? Ah! Ah, there's a car and an actual house over here. Okay, that's not really a shack in the woods, is it? It's more like a house in the woods. Gotta be careful if there's anyone about here. Hello? Nobody at the moment. Might be a zombie in there. Box of pasta. Box of Uncle Werewolf brand uncooked pasta. Food for allies. All right. Storage shelf. Ugh. I'm just taking the uh, peanut butter. And some more stuff from the toilet. Excellent. Oh, four rolls. It's not bad. I can take the pallet stuff. Excellent. Oh, chop down tree. Do we get uh, components here? I mean, yes, we do. Oh, that is nice. A mailbox. Do we actually care what's in the mailbox? Oh, yeah, of course. Some magazines and such. Oh, man. So many uh, materials here. That's really nice. <clears throat> because we really need a lot of them. Uh, for the, you know, for the um, fence and so on and so forth. Now we have to be careful. I am hoping there is a guy over here that will join us. Ooh, wow. That is some really good stuff. Hopefully he's not going to be too pissed about us taking that. It is not locked, that door. And in fact, it's open. Hmm. I am going to auto save Just in case. I think Metal Canyon still has... There's a body over there. Maybe he's still alive. Metal Canyon still has the um, ballistic vest on. So just in case. Ooh, lots of stuff. Some uh, vitamins. These won't help if people aren't eating. But they might help supplement poor diets. Not bad. And we still have not gotten a single can of deodorant. That's quite ridiculous. Look at that. Portable game system, DVD player, rechargeable batteries, and a pack of batteries. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Oh, what was that? Board game. Candy ship. Board game that spawned the phrase, you ate my candy ship. Note, pieces should not be eaten or placed in mouth. <laughs> oh, that's a 
aluminum bat. Lighter than a wooden bat. Uh, the second key difference with the aluminum model is that a more moderate crack is replaced with a high-pitched ping. Uh, dizzy, 30% knockback. I'll have to uh, compare it to a normal bat, to a wooden bat. <clears throat> but that's probably a nice upgrade. I'm guessing it's a lot lighter as well. There, there we go. There's a normal bat, so let's compare them. Okay, so that's four basic AP. This is a little more noise. Um... Same range, loads more damage. A lot less damage against the undead, though. Hmm. Yeah. 5% more critical chance. Uh, strength required less. Yeah. I don't know. You trade... I mean, actually, it, it's a lot of nice damage against uh, normal people, I guess. So I'm going to give this to someone um, that has a crappy... You know, weapon otherwise. Um, well, Metal Canyon has the stupid knife. Yeah, should definitely have the bat. There we go. Oh, that's um, that's sorted out. Stop spazzing out. Let's uh, go check this place as well. Medicine cabinet. Ooh, sodium shampoo, soap, toilet paper, and antibiotics. Well, everything helps. Wardrobe. Can we see through the window? What's going on there? Oh, you can't carry that much. That's fine. Max, you go and take this stuff. Oh my god. There's a... Get out of the way. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's got lots of these um, jackets now. Maybe we should trade them with people. Whoa, grenade. Oh, <laughs> grenade. You throw the bowler thingy. Uh, you already have a jacket. You already have a jacket. She doesn't have a jacket. There you go. It's something. I mean, I could give just someone... I could give them the um, armor and metal could constantly wear this, but I don't know. <clears throat> right. Uh, did we check the wardrobe already, right? Sideboard. <clears throat> Detective novel. This one is called Sleepy Angels Always Ring Dead. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, more kitchen stuff. Fridge. Ugh. Ah, hot sauce. I think someone wanted that. Insects. Ugh. Check the cabinet. Oh, there was someone there. <gasps> a tag dog. Oh, oh crap. There's a tag dogs here and... Uh oh. This is the first time we actually saw... Saw animals, I think. Was he attacking? There was no, um... No noise, no anything. Where the hell are these attack dogs coming from? Damn, Metal Canyon should be in the front, even though... Yeah, he's almost dead. 50% only to hit, that's not great. Yeah, that's that's not gonna do it, is it? Right, Metal Canyon. Should I do this? Let's do it. Even though it's probably not the best idea. Um... Uh, let's swap with you and let's swap with you. That's gonna be great. Alright. Um, yeah, just stay there. I, ah, damn it. We're in such a bad spot. Okay, Metal Canyon. 50%. Try it. Come on. Ah, oh, shite. That's gonna hurt. Aggressive growl. What? Do I hear. Huh? Okay, he's he's he can't bite through the armor though. The armor absorbed fifteen points, and the armor resisted seven points. Oh, of course, the armor degrades, doesn't it? Okay, let's let's get them in here because I need more firepower on these dogs. Definitely need more firepower. All right, we can attack him like that, I think. All right, come here. Yeah, um, yeah, let's go over here. Let's bring the doggies. Oh, what? We're out? Come on, just heal yourself. There you go. So wait, I want to reposition my people a little bit. Um, Metal Canyon. No, Max is going to be over here and Amy is going to be here because Max can uh, attack diagonally and Amy can't. I thought these dogs would follow. Oh. 
Ow. Zero points. Very nice. Zero points. Nice. Yeah, they don't have the correct um, sound effects, these dogs, do they? They're doing hit, hit, instead of going rrrr. Uh-oh. There's another dog coming now. Right, this is going to be interesting. Come on, doggy. I don't know if I should be using the... Ow! Yeah, now they're going for people. They sh Ow! They shouldn't be going. 50% only. Damn it. Cripple. 80%. Ow! Don't know if that actually works in the dog. The cripple thing. 85%. Please knock it down. Bloody hell. Poor dog. Badly wounded, yeah. No kidding. I think these dogs... Oh. I think these dogs might be going around. Right, she is going to finish it off. Six points only. It's almost dead, though. High whimper. Okay. Amy was weapon is broken. What? Ah, for Pete's sake. Really? Ah. It's bloody broken. Right, how about I use this instead of that? Bloody hell, 149 damage? Was That wasn't even a crit. Holy crap. Attack dog makes one uh, last grab at the air and then falls to the ground in a bloody heap. Ouch. It's not nice. Right, I'm gonna wait for the other dog to come over and of course he's gonna... No, he's gonna attack Metal Canyon. That's good. I wonder how my... Uh, <clears throat> the dogs are attacking. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wonder... I wonder how my armor, how hockey armor is doing, though. Eight points, wow. Really? <clears throat> Slightly wounded, 50% only. That's too bad. Oh, come on. 59 points of damage, that was a critical... What was that thing before, then? Jeez. Um, basic attack... Wild swing is only 50%. No, let's do a basic attack. Whoa, 50 points of damage. Bloody hell, it's knocked out. Come on, finish it off. At least we're safe. Yeah, sort of. Poor dogs. Can't move to target. What? It's right there. What? It, there you go. Yeah, these dogs don't really have anything, do they? There, wasn't there another dog? I mean, I saw them up there in the, uh... In the thingy. <clears throat> right, where are they? Come on, guys. Follow me. Yeah, there's more dogs. Okay. Um... We're gonna do the same thing as before. Get ready to rumble! She's gonna be over here. Alright, and Metal Canyon is gonna bring them over. Hello, dogs. Vicious dog. Dead man. Damn it, I was hoping he would be... Yep, there they go. I was hoping he would be a uh, survivor over here in the shack. That we could, uh, you know, get back to the shelter. And then say, yeah, you have so many points in survival. Yeah, you can build our stuff. Okay, never mind. Right, hopefully he's gonna go for metal... Oh, it's that thing again. It's so weird. Huh? Ah, there we go. That was the right sound effect. Ow. That's great with the hockey pads. And of course, Metal Canyon has tough skin. Um, they can't actually get through the armor at all. That's pretty insane. No, go for... Ow. Ow. It sucks when they start bleeding. The animations for the dogs... Nah, nah not... Too brilliant. 54 points of damage, and apparently it's also poisoned now for some reason. That wasn't bad at all. 70%. Bang! Jeez. Finish it off, come on. Even though that's a horrible thing. Oh man, poor dog. 130. I think they're just doing so much more damage because. Oh! I started the combat. No, it started the combat. Um. I think they're doing so much more damage because the dog is actually on the ground. Ow. 90%. Can I do a wild swing? 60%. Nah, it's not worth it. Let's do a normal swing. Jeez. 158. 
The dark should be almost... No, it's knocked out. It should be almost dead as well. Jeez. Max is ridiculous. Whoa! Whoa! How much... What the hell? 83 decibels? What the, what, what the hell's going on? Why? We were only using... Was, were the dogs doing that much noise? Holy crap. Well, we've got company. And it's not nice. Crap. I hope it's just one zombie. Alright, um... Ah, crap. I can't do two attacks now. Oh, well. And of course you miss. Of course. <laughs> Actually, stay there. Um... Come on. Whoa! 60 points of damage, and it's dead. Okay, phew. That was not nice. Let's get out of here. So what does the dead man have? Just a machete. But those were his dogs, weren't they? Look. Did they... Were the dogs zombified or something? It didn't say anything about the zombification. It was... What the hell? It was just that he was... Um, they were vicious. And attack dogs. What the hell is this? Who has a bloody container in their backyard? What? <laughs> okay. It's very securely locked. I really wonder what's inside. Hopefully that a person that's alive still. I mean, I'm saying that like I... I can know that someone's alive. Yeah, I'm going to wait for the noise meter to go down first, because I do not want to get caught over here by a horde of zombies that will be coming through the house. I definitely do not want that. And I don't want to waste a lockpick here. Is that blood over there? It almost seems like, but I think it's just dirt. Alright, come on. 13 decibels and zero. I still see no zombies over there, so it should be good. Yeah, yeah. that, um, this aluminium bat doesn't seem to be, uh, bad. It's just, I don't know. Not that great against the undead, I guess. Ah, oh, come on, seven. <laughs> seven remaining. Yeah, Amy took quite a lot of damage, unfortunately. That's quite unfortunate, but oh well. Right, let's see what we have in there. Let's save first. Bang! Hello? And there's nobody in... What the hell was going on here? What? Is this a chainsaw? Plastic trunk? Whoa! Bowie knife. Popularized by Jim Bowie, this version of the Bowie knife is practically a short sword rather than a knife. This model has been further customized to do as much damage as possible. If looks could kill, this knife would be one of the deadliest weapons in the world, and can be, to the right person. Uh, counter 50%, wow. That's very nice for against people. Combat machete, titanium blade, carbon fiber grip, and sharpened to a dangerous edge. This long knife is a standard military issue and has been kept in excellent condition. Ooh. Kukuri. Uh, kukri. Sometimes used as a tool and a weapon, this kukri is obviously made primarily with combat in mind. The thick curved blade makes it especially good at chopping limbs, and its exotic appearance makes it a menacing blade to face down. There is a good reason this traditional blade continues to be used to this day. That's a lot of slashing damage, and it's only three. Those are some really nice weapons. Wooden trunk. Noisemaker. Ah, a throne device that incorporates electronics from a uh, smoke detector. When tossed, the impact of the landing triggers the device to go off, sounding an alarm that will attract undead from all over the area. Nice if you want to... Yeah, but what the hell was going on here? Was he cutting up zombies? Was he cutting up people? What the... Yeah, there's nothing back here. Well, this was quite a bizarre area. Um, yeah... Nothing really great that was he cutting up people to feed to the dogs or was he cutting up zombies to feed to the dogs and then the dogs got zombified or something. I have no idea, but this area was weird and creepy, but actually we got quite a lot of good stuff from it, if you think about it. 
a lot of good stuff. Um, a lot of good weapons. And uh, what the hell are these? Oh, just sort of stepping stones. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. Anyway, we are going to continue next time. And uh, we're going... Well, we'll continue scavenging. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.